This is Paul Doherty from Buster Sports, and we're looking for the greatest college basketball fans in the country. Tonight, we decided to start things off on Franklin Street in the heart of Tar Heel Country, right here in Chapel Hill. We decided also to come to the top of the hill, one of the best sports bars in the southeast, to see what it's all about. Let's take it upstairs. Welcome to Top of the Hill. Scott Mayland, everybody knows this is the place to be in Chapel Hill for uh, for any kind of a game situation. We've got a big game tonight, North Carolina playing Wake Forest. Uh, but uh, tell me a little bit about uh, how you got here to North Carolina and uh, and what brought you to the South from Southern California. Well, I was looking for Southern California that my grandparents and great grandparents described in the 1950s, and I was lucky enough when I got out of the Army to get a scholarship to UNC Law. I came back to Chapel Hill and said, you know, what am I going to do? And I looked around and I realized, you know what? Chapel Hill, North Carolina, 1992, is exactly what my grandparents were describing Southern California being in 1958, with some wonderful Southern twists involved. And I just decided, you know what? I'm going to live right here. And a week later, after I made that decision, I, I decided I better figure out a way to let myself live right here. And I came up with the idea for Top of the Hill Restaurant and Brewery. Well, I know a lot of lawyers, and uh, they love beer. So, uh that was a good a good uh, match. I know this is a huge brew pub as well. Talk a little bit about the, that process. How did you get into that? Top of the Hill was conceived to keep a chain restaurant, TGI Fridays, from coming in and dominating downtown Chapel Hill. We turned into the largest restaurant in Chapel Hill. We are the largest bar in terms of alcohol purchases in the state of North Carolina. And one of the things I liked about the brew pub concept when I conceived of the idea was that it was neat to me to consider like having a product that can only be purchased here at Top of the Hill as opposed to a chain restaurant, you know? And so we, we started the brewery from day one and uh, we've grown into the largest brew pub in the Southeast when you consider sales on site. All right, now we've given you the commercial now for, for the place. Let's talk a little bit about the fans. Uh, people are starting to come in, they've had dinner. It's been nice and quiet here, a beautiful evening. But now there's a basketball game going on. It's a pretty big one. Uh, what's it like to have uh, this place uh, full of raging college students every night? Well, I tell you, it's it's fascinating to see the the life, the day in the life at Top of the Hill because we go from being just a casual restaurant to all of a sudden being a big sports bar. And, and obviously, you know, on the big nights, national championship nights, Sweet 16, obviously Duke, you know, it really can get crazy up here. And a night like tonight, it's great. It's it's fun to be in touch and be part of the community and, and to see everybody come in and, and feel like Top of the Hill is part of their community. You've been here a long time. You're a fixture. Talk about the uh, famous and the not so famous or the infamous, perhaps, that have uh, been in and out of this place. Well, I tell you, I mean, it, you know, you name it, they've been here. I, one of my funniest um, commercials I ever made was coming to Top of the Hill. Michael Jordan's been to Top of the Hill more times than he's been to his own restaurant, which was, which was true. Michael Jordan told me that himself. I mean, so we've had Michael in here. You know, Robin Williams has been here when he was filming, um, um, what the heck was the name of that movie? Patch Adams. Patch Adams. And hey, what do you know? There you go. What, what, a, what a good interview. Um, you know, here at Top of the Hill, everybody is just a normal person, and I think that as a result, a lot of celebrities come up here because they know they're going to be treated. I think one of my coolest stories is, is that uh, Nomar, Garcia Pera, and Mia Hamm actually hooked up here at Top of the Hill. We Incredible. Saw it happen, yeah. They met at the Jimmy V golf tournament. They actually started making out in the corner over here. Yeah. You know what? That's beautiful. You know what, though? I no, tell we're you, not editing that. I, on, honestly, you know what? May, don't put that in. I, I don't know. I don't know. Hooked up, you know, what are you going to do? Yeah. Now, what about infamous people? Have we ever had Mike Krzyzewski in the place? Be honest. Was it in the off season? Okay, no. Seriously, we, we do have to edit this, whatever. I... You've already signed the release. I'm sorry. And, and, yeah. So we gotta, we gotta, we gotta edit that. Going back to your question, no, I've never seen Mike Krzyzewski in here, but I tell you what, I would say that a lot because of just the absence of of things to do in Durham, a lot of our customers are Duke students, and so, you know, it was n never a surprise to see, you know, Jeff Capel up here when he was playing, and. I've seen Christian Leitner up here, and I've seen, um, um, I don't know, a bunch, I don't know, those Dukey guys. They all kind of blend together. So no, no Duke players have been injured? They haven't been thrown off the balcony out here? No, but, you know, they haven't been up here late at night either. Well, that's too bad because uh, at Buster Sports, we were really hoping that you maybe splashed a couple of guys off the balcony. But that's that's all right. I mean, I if we're talking sportsmanship, all right. I know, man. I'm, I'm You know, I'm just not that guy. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a... You know, I'm a uniter, not a divider, baby. But, um, uh, you know, I tell you what, um, 
you know, you'll, you'll hear me hurling some invectives during a Duke game. Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. Well, we're looking to, uh, forward to a big night tonight here. We want to thank you for joining us and letting us uh, take over the place. Great night so far tonight. We really appreciate the help. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank All right. you very much. Thank you. Yeah, seriously, cut the... Uh, yeah, we, oh, no, we, we cut the... Uh,